Hi everyone, Bonjour tout le monde. So I just wanted to come on here because there's something that's been popping up lately in my discussions with pregnant and postpartum people and that is how to incorporate exercise in your daily routine. Whether it's something that you really love to do, moving your body, or it's been something that you've been wanting to incorporate in your day to day but haven't been able to because you're just so busy. It's hard because if you are identifying as a woman, we have so many responsibilities put upon us, whether we want them or not, and there's so much mental load. So we start the day and then we're go, 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 and then nighttime comes and we're like, ah, oh, we didn't get to move our bodies, maybe tomorrow, right? That's what we tell ourselves. Um, what I want you to know is that your needs are absolutely important, okay? So self-care is something that we always talk about and you've probably heard a thousand times that take care of yourself so that you can be a better mother, so that you can be a better partner or a better colleague, all of these things. No, that is not self-care. Self-care is so that you can show up and be the better version of yourself, period. It is just for you. Whether it's to feel good, whether it's to have a good cry, whether it's to take the mental load off your shoulders, that is self-care. It's just for you, okay? So that is one thing that I want you to know about this. Also, um, I choose to move my body because it is something that I need emotionally and mentally. And also, I love to feel strong in my body. I love lifting weights because it is something that makes me feel good. I love to see what my body is able to do and challenge it. Those are the reasons why I exercise. So the, the other important thing is understand why you want to do exercise and why it's so important to you and make sure those, those values are something that align with your self-care. Now, I have three tips for you um, to help you get up and go and to include that movement of body in your day-to-day -day routine. Number one is choose something you love. This is something that a lot of people forget, is that choose something you love to do. Don't just choose something that is on social media, that is popular right now. If you don't like spinning, don't get out and spinning. If you like walking instead, then choose walking, okay? So find an activity that you actually love to do and give it a try and start with that. Okay, because if you choose something that you don't love to do, it's going to be really hard for you to make time for it. Okay, so number two is be realistic. Okay, so in my season of life right now, 15 to 20, 20 minute workouts are ideal. That is something that I love to do. That is something that I know I can um, incorporate in my day to day. And it is something that feels fun instead of a chore. Okay, so be realistic and match it with your goals. Okay, so if it's not realistic, if you're looking to do a workout of an hour and really you only have 30 to 45 minutes, you're probably not going to do that workout because you're going to feel like you've already failed because you weren't able to do that whole workout. So switch that mindset around exercise, make it fun. Instead of making it something that you need to do like a punishment, Exercise is not punishment. That's bullshit, okay? Exercise needs to be something you love to do. Because if not, it's going to be a long journey for you. So number one, choose something you enjoy. Number two, something that's realistic. Number three, set up in advance, okay? So, just a minute, s'il te plaît. So, set up in advance. Get that equipment out the night before if you're working out in the morning. If you need to have a certain playlist playing when you want to move your body, whether it's a yoga video that you're choosing on YouTube, already have it set up on your computer so that when you open that computer screen, it is already there. That is one step less that you need to do. I personally choose to sometimes work out in my pajamas because that is easier for me. Um, I feel comfortable in it. Um, and, but if you need to change in your workout clothes, have it ready so that when you wake up in the morning, you are already changing in it and you're ready to go. Okay? 
And a bonus tip for you. If you have small children at home, prioritize working out when they are awake. I know it sounds kind of weird, but that nap time is sacred time. That is time where you can just sit on the couch, you can read a book, you can drink a warm cup of coffee because you deserve a warm cup of coffee. All the things, okay? So unless they're small babies and they're fussy, that's when I would typically do a workout when they're sleeping. But when they're toddlers, just set up those boundaries. You will get interrupted. You will be asked a thousand questions. You will be jumped on. You will be stolen equipment from you. Set those boundaries. Um, have some specific lines that you will say. For me, I always say, I will be right with you when I am done this exercise. Give me a few minutes. Mommy's almost done her exercises. It's something that I repeatedly will say during a workout, but I still get through it. And they, over time, learn that my needs are really important to me and they're really important for them to understand those boundaries around me and that I can also have time for myself, even if they are around, okay? So, I hope those tips really help. Number one, choose something you enjoy. Number two, make it realistic. Number three, set up in advance. And if you have small kids, set up those boundaries. Get those snack trays ready and enjoy your moving of your body in whatever that is you choose to do. Okay? Enjoy!